Welcome in, everybody. Bob Stevens alongside John Byrne, Chuck Zapek, and Kayla Logue will join us a little bit later on. We are at the home of the Dolphins, Hilton Head Prep for today's game between the Dolphins and St. Andrews of Savannah. Dolphins come in four and four, but Kevin Wald has them on a positive roll a little bit, doesn't he? Bob, I think so. You know, we were talking to uh, some of the coaches earlier, uh, you were specifically, mm -hmm. and this year they've been much more competitive in the losses that they had a, a year ago. The, the, a year ago, they were losing some games by 25, 35 points. If you just look at the last three games, they've uh, won two out of three. The one they lost, they only lost by six. Mm -hmm. uh, they're closing the gap. They are indeed trying to put together a winning streak for the first time all year. They've got four wins, but they've all been followed by losses. Coming off a win last week, we'll see if they can get a win against a team that is one and seven. St. Andrews was a winner uh, early in the year, but then they have lost five straight, and they lost to prep last year 35-14. to 14. We're going to see a very interesting offense for Hilton Head Prep today. Maybe their biggest player, certainly their most talented player, is the quarterback, and, and he's a big guy. <laughs> He's 6'2", 180, or 6'3", 185. We saw him warming up. He throws a dart. He, he, he puts some zip on the ball. He's also got a great running back to hand the ball off to. Yes, he certainly does. So uh, they are uh, ready to go. The prep uh, Dolphins are. St. Andrews trying to rebuild a little something. Again, it's the kind of a numbers problem. St. Andrews a little bit like where Hilton Head Prep was a year ago. Uh, so we are going to watch a lot of progression. I think we see a Hilton Head Prep school that is just about ready to get back in it and to get back involved in it after starting last season with just 12 players. Well, and again, they're suiting up 25, maybe mm -hmm. 30 players today. The, uh, the interest, the momentum, they're making progress. And, hey, it's not easy. It's not like they have an abundance yeah. of, of, of kids <laughs> at, at Prep or St. Andrews right. or some of the private schools. So what they're doing, they're doing a good job. They're making progress. We're going to see some of that progress today. And it's afternoon football. How much fun is this? On Hilton Head Island. Yeah. I mean, you know, we're not used to seeing it at, at the high school level anywhere anymore. Uh, the college level, they'll do it for TV, but that's about it. But to see a game under the sunshine, uh, this, this is just going to be fun. Looking forward to it. It's going to be terrific. We're going to talk with head coach Kevin Wald in just a moment and continue leading up to Hilton Head Prep against St. Andrews on WHHI Sports. Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well.
What are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. I'm just in love with the flavor. I get mine black. I don't want to take away from that pure taste. So smooth. No bitterness. It's awesome. There's no other taste like it. America runs on Duncan coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Dunkin' Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Everything is ruined. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. The, the Covert Air High School football pregame show continues. Bob Stevens alongside Coach Kevin Wald in your second season at prep on a gorgeous afternoon. Kind of nice when you have to wear shades to coach. Yes, sir. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Talk to me about the progress your team is making. You came in here a year and a half ago. And you had 12 kids and it show up to, for the first practice. You got a lot more than that now, and they seem to be pretty engaged. Yes, sir. You know, you're right. We started with 12 on day one last year and finished the season with 18. We got up to uh, 30. We've had some bad breaks with injuries, but that's going to happen in the game of football. And uh, we should dress, I believe, 25, 26 today. And, uh, you know, we're building down. We feel like we're heading in the right direction. And, and to, to really epitomize that, uh, your games against Thomas Hayward, a couple of games you lost last year and lost this year, but you were right there knocking on the door. We year. were. Yeah. Obviously, we were disappointed we didn't get the win, but, uh, you know, last year they beat us, uh, I think, 60 to 14, and this year we lost by six. We lost by six to Palmetto Chris, so we bridged the gap. Okay, now now we just got to take that next North step and, and start getting some conference Appreciate wins. In taking that next step, a win today, today would obviously be good. What are you going to try to get accomplished today? What is uh, really uh, your goal today, other than the, the win? Cheerleader. Well, we want to play clean. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, in game nine of the right season, we don't want to have any offside penalties, no false starts. Play, you know, just good, clean football. Like All right, good luck to you. Uh, yes, sir. Thanks thank so you. much. Appreciate Kevin Wall, the head coach of the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins. We'll be back with the opening kickoff in just a moment right here on the Covert Air High School Football Game of the Week on WHHI Sports. H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota. From Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in. Cookies come out. One more time. Hand in. Cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. Have you been in the zone? Sport Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sport Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more, Sport Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sport Zone. 
Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. What we have here is Chrysler 300, brand new, 3.6 Pentastar, made in the U.S. of A. Eight-speed transmission, give you 31 miles to the gallon. Best in class, 8.4 touchscreen radio, backup camera, navigation, including Beats by Dre. Come take a test drive, I'll save you $2,000. Ask for Charles Manigo. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. We welcome you back to the home of the Dolphins as Hilton Head Prep gets ready to kick it off against St. Andrews, the Lions from Savannah against the Dolphins Prep, 4-4 on the season. Chuck Zafek, ninth week of the season. Shouldn't be any surprises, shouldn't be a whole lot more to learn. I think we're going to learn a lot about both teams today. Well, I think we will too. We'll probably see a high-scoring game. Both teams featuring a lot of points scored by their running backs in the last couple of weeks. Not much defense, however, and that cost Hilton Head Prep severely in that two weeks ago they lost to Thomas Hayward in a last-second touchdown. Otherwise, they would be coming into this game with a three-game winning streak. It's homecoming. It's also senior day, and here come the Dolphins. A roster that had just 12 players on it when it began a year ago under Coach Kevin Wald. Grew to 18 by the end of that, the end of last season. Began this year with 30. They have had some injuries, but are still going to have at least two dozen players. Uh, for kickoff today, you see Coach Wald at the bottom center of your screen on a gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon for football here on Hilton Head Island. They're playing on the fairway here at uh, <laughs> Hilton Head Prep. This might be the nicest surface we're going to see anywhere in the location. It was, now. too. It, it's, it's very nice turf here in Sea Pines Plantation. Coming into tonight's game, though, we got the players to watch for Hilton Head Prep. It's going to be Tron Daly. He's been their workhorse the last couple of weeks. That offensive line for Prep has improved dramatically in the last couple of games. That's why they are 2-1 and one in the last three games. And they're going to have to get a strong game out of the quarterback, Tyler Fox. All right, Prep is in red. The Lions are in blue and white. Waddy Brooks with the kickoff, and they run up to the line. And just enough breeze to blow the ball off the tee. And we'll get a little restart here. Waddy Brooks, a 110-pound freshman doing the kicking. He's going to get a little help. Cole Gardaki is going to put his uh, finger on top of the football. You sure that's 110? Did you, you check on that <laughs> weight? <laughs> Dripping wet. Gets a big leg in it, though. Buries it back into the corner where it is taken by Reed Bennett. Bennett will also play quarterback. He is stopped by Sean Topper. They'll begin at their own 28-yard line. Good defense here on the kick return by the Dolphins. Well, that's one nice thing when you play at these smaller schools is they get a chance to play every play. <laughs> Special teams, offense, defense, and 31, Reed Bennett takes the opening kickoff back. He's the starting quarterback. This really is a duel between two sophomore quarterbacks, Tyler Fox and Reed Bennett, number 31. You'll see a lineup under center, number 52, Logan Sims, to take the snap. Going to work out of a shotgun formation. Reed Bennett, the sophomore. With a man in motion, hands it to his tailback. That's Wright Wallace, and Wallace gets nothing up the middle. Yeah, Wright no. Wallace, a senior, no, Michael no, Bennett, no, a junior, no, will be the no, running backs no, for no, St. Andrews. No and they come out and they run a simple out of the sh shotgun formation. 22 comes up from his linebacker position, makes a nice stop in back in the backfield. You see the uh, prep defense. Lining up in a uh, fairly traditional 4-4 alignment as Bennett on second and 10. Fakes the reverse. Bennett's still got the ball trying to dump it over the middle. And really, that play was busted up by a great, aggressive Hilton Head Prep defense. Well, we get a chance to set that defense for the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins. 86, Trammy Colkit playing Left defensive end, 63, Zane Braden is a, is, line, is a defensive lineman, number 63, 22, Gavin Herbert, and 59, Sean Topper forms the front four for the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins. Third and 10, a dive into the line for nothing, then an incompleted pass. 
Just one back. Twin set with a tight end. Bennett rolling right, throwing over the middle and through the arms of the intended receiver, Caleb Tension. And it'll be fourth down, a quick three and out by the Hilton Head Dolph Dolph Prep Dolphin defense. Well, this is where the Dolphins have stalled this year's on defense. They come out, and I'm sure that gives Coach Kevin Wall a lot of confidence that his team, right at the start of the game, is able to produce a stop in three downs. No, it's still a back deep for the Dolphins. Certainly should, as Andrew Adams is back to punt for St. Andrews, and we've got whistles blowing. Prep was bringing some players, too. <laughs> they were going after that one early, really trying to establish momentum here. Offside against Prep. That's been the best offensive play so far for St. Andrews. Gives them five anyway, moves it out to the 33. Yeah, we get to see, we get to sign that time from Ed Rarefield. He's 28 years as a high school official. He's the referee in the white cap that gave us that signal. Andrew Adams on the fake, and the fake gets given to Wright Wallace, and Wallace gets the first down up to near the 45-yard line. A Walgreens first down for St. Andrews. Great execution on the fake punt. Uh, Bob pulled this play last week, pulled off at Buford, and Lufton game. This time, they pulled off, and it worked to perfection. You know, I first saw this one down at uh, when Penn State played West Virginia, and Bobby... Um, Bobby Bowden Ballard was, was the yeah. offensive coordinator there, and they pulled that one on us once. Gain of a dozen after the Walgreens first down. The St. Andrews Lions, one and seven on the season for the first time in the game under center. Because it's not Reed Bennett. It's Bennett who gets the ball as a running back this time. Caleb Tension was actually lined up under center. You see a lot of players play a lot of different positions, I think, in this uh, ball game. Well, players get to play both ways here. Set that offensive line for the Lions from St. Andrews. Jacob Dixon, number 75, is the left tackle. He's the coach's son. 55, Jake Zernan is, 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 is the right, is the left guard. Center, Logan Sims, number 52. Andrew Adams is the right guard, number 79. And J.D. Morgan is the right tackle, number 76. On second and eight, a fumble snap. And the ball is loose. I thought Tinchin had it, but... Uh, yeah, it looks like he did fall on it as he tried to get out from under center. That, of course, is the uh, risk you run of uh, different quarterbacks in different situations and is a little mishandling of the football. Ball recovered by the Lions. Boy, that was nearly recovered by Prep. But St. Andrews lives to fight another day on the fumble. It'll be third down and eight. Now back in the shotgun. Again, it's Timshin. Now this time it's Bennett at quarterback. Good penetration on the wing by uh, Hilton Head Prep. He has to turn back upfield and only is there. able to pick up, up a couple of yards to near by, the 50. Uh, and opens. John Larson emerges from the bottom of the pile for the stop. It's fourth and six from the 49. Then so it comes on a roll out here. Nice play going upfield. That's number 59, Sean Topper, the senior, six feet one, 188 pounds, comes up and forces the quarterback back inside, and he waits for a school of Dolphins to join him in on the tackle. Oh, there you go. You were waiting for me to have I that. I was indeed. Away. Andrew Adams with the punt. Good punt. Down to near the 20-yard line. It is finally picked up by Noah Sulek, and Sulek trying to find some running room. Kent gets it out to the middle of the field, right at the 21-yard line where Hilton Head Prep will take over. Covert Air, breathe easier with an energy savings agreement from Covert Air Heating and Air Conditioning. They, of course, the sponsor of the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. New River Auto Mall, they have it all at New River Auto Mall, over a thousand vehicles at 12 dealerships in just one location. So Hilton Head Prep takes over. Tyler Fox under center, gives it to Teron Daly. We are gonna see a lot of this senior today. Spins his way up to near the 30, gain of about eight. What can we say about Teron Daly? Over 1,300 yards this year, averaging over 12 yards a carry. He has 23 touchdowns this season. Second and two. Daly with a gain of eight there. 
That kind of says it all right there, Bob. 23 touchdowns. Yeah. <laughs> 19 of them on offense. He actually has two fumble return touchdowns playing defense for this Hilton Head Prep Dolphin team. Again, the single setback. As Tyler Fox, big kid, under center, pitches it back. Whoops, we've got a loose football. He fumbles out of bounds. Teron Daly couldn't hang on to the pitch, couldn't find the handle, and it goes out of bounds. But it goes out of bounds far enough up for a first down. That gives us a chance to set the offensive line for the Dolphins from Hilton Head Prep. The center is 58, Cole Frederick. The left guard is Logan Mallett, 57. 59 is Sean Topper, the left tackle. Right guard is Brandon Mitchell, number 75. And John Horner is the right tackle, number 50. Tyler Fox brings him out. He's got trips to the far right of your screen. But he's going to give it to the running back. Yeah, you're not going to mess with this right now. Daly stopped at, uh, right at the line of scrimmage for no gain. What do you think those game films look like coming up to this game? Do you think Coach Dixon from St. Andrews had him look at a, a couple film reels of, uh, of Daly running the ball? Five and 25. He's been seeing those numbers in his head every night when he has put his head down on his pillow. That's for sure. Tyler Fox, just a sophomore, thrown for over 900 yards this year. Went to some passing camps last summer, really improved his technique, and he just takes it on a quarterback draw and runs it up to the 40. Gain of about five. And it'll be a third down and five. Prep started out this year running more bare uh, varieties of plays. They've gone back to just running more uh, between the tackles, and it's paying off for him in his first drive. You played for a guy who kept it pretty simple and just handled, <laughs> did it with execution, right, Joe Pa? Yeah, but we, we had a couple guys by the name of Franco and Lydell that could that could do it. But they kept it. You kept it simple. You, know, yeah. you had the tackles make the block, give them a little hole, and let them go. Tyler Fox, after a bad snap, is going to get oh, wrestled down in his own backfield. Back at the 25, maybe they'll mark it at the 27, a loss of about 13. Whoops, Fox just couldn't handle the snap. Well, that's a shame. That was a makeable first down. Now they got to bring Gordaki in. His dad, as we know, punt it for 15 years in the NFL for the Steelers. Let's see how his son does. Yeah, his son has boomed it. This one. Across the 40, gets the bounce across the 30, down to near the 20 yard line. So a 52 yard punt for Cole Gardaki has <laughs> pinned the St. Anthony or St. Andrews Lions back in their own territory. I'm impressed a guy from Tulsa could do that math, math that fast. 52 yards. Well, we That's punted a lot. Good. We had to learn how to do that. We punted a lot. When I went, we had an All-American punter when I went to school there. Eddie Hare played a little bit in the NFL with the uh, Patriots and the Rams. I remember. He can boom it. <laughs> All right. The St. Andrews Lions coming back out with Reed Bennett at quarterback now. Right Wallace, the lone setback. Wallace gets the handoff right up the middle. Right behind his tackle. Good job on the right side of the line by the Lions. Yeah, he follows the blocks of number 52, Logan Sims. And the right guard, Andrew Adams, number 79. You can see them open up a hole for the running back. Right Wallace, number 22, the senior, gets a Walgreens first down. Gain of 11 for Wallace. Three carries for 23 yards. Five minutes left in the first quarter. We are scoreless. Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series here at Hilton Head Prep on a gorgeous, gorgeous Friday afternoon. Wright Wallace gets it again, heads to the right side. He'll be uh, wrestled down after gaining about three. Good defensive play there by Hilton Head Prep's secondary. E.J. Churchage making the tackle. From the Lions. After the gain of four by Wright Wallace. Coach Doug Dixon telling us before the game, he's just, it's a process using the Nick Saban line, and it's a long process. He says it might be four or five years before he has St. Andrews where he wants them uh, as a program. 
But he says we're getting better, and he really well, loves the effort of his young Gordon. football players. The give that time was to Michael Bennett, and Michael Bennett and carries up over the 40. Down. Another and Walgreens first down for the St. Andrews Lions. Good job blocking up front by the Lions to move them out from their own from their own territory. Well, they're still back in there, but got it out from the goal line. Got that booming kick by Gardaki. We might get to use the phrase shadow of the goalpost today. Not very often we get to do that. As rare as an afternoon game is anymore. If it was going the other way, I would, but you can see the shadows are in the wrong direction. Otherwise, well, at some point I in the day, I'm just saying, saving at it. some point today, and we may get to see it. the back five yards will be first and 15 from the 39. So a penalty against the Lions for an illegal procedure. It, they will back it up and be first and 15. Flu shots now available at every Walgreens store. Every day at Walgreens, there is a way to stay well. Well, Prep struggled last year uh, stopping, uh, stopping in a run. You know, they had the same record right now as they did this time last year, just as the games have been a little bit more competitive. Beat the same four teams they beat a year ago, lost to the same four teams with a, two left to go. Oh, got a little contact there. Getting a little ahead of himself, Jane, Zane Braden for Hilton Head Prep. And yep, he will be charged with the offsides. And the St. Andrews Lions get the five yards they lost back. Well, two years ago, as you know, they had a change in coaching staff, and, uh, and they also lost their offensive coordinator, Stu Fuller, who's now the offensive coordinator with Hilton Head High School. And that changed the whole offense for the Dolphins. And you can see today that it runs a little bit different. Fuller is running more of a pro-style offense. Now these, uh, the team today under Kevin Wald is running more of a spread option and, uh, type of offense. Give is to Wright Wallace. The ball is loose, but it is covered by an offensive lineman, Jake Zarin, the senior. And yeah, big hugs from his offensive line mates as he gets picks up the loose ball and they actually pick up a few yards. You're gonna fumble it. After a gain of two. Fumble it forward. They're actually gonna rule him down by contact after a gain of two. It'll be second down and eight. You know, Bob, in these small schools where you depend on a lot of players playing both ways, one of the players that Hilton Head Prep is missing today is one of their best players, Robert Clark, is injured today. Robert is a senior, 205 pounds, goes both ways, but he's out in today's match. He might be back for Christian Academy next week. Wright Wallace puts it on the ground again, but then he falls on it after a loss of a couple. And it'll be third down and long for St. Andrews. And Boy, James Leonard makes a nice play. Number 10 comes in. The senior, 5'10", 170 pounds, able to strip the ball out of the ball carrier's hands. Third down and 10. Dolphins make some moves on defense. The defensive secondary having to look back into the sun on a Friday afternoon. Now Bennett rolling to his right. A little bit of pressure. Let's it go and throws incomplete. Looking for that sideline route. Parker for the Dolphins. And can't get it, so it'll be fourth down and ten. Reed Bennett, 0 for 3. Throwing well, the football. I can think you see after how he threw the football wider a running team. <laughs> <laughs> back to punt. Andrew Adams. Noah Sulik, number three, back deep for the Dolphins. Noah Sulik will be back deep for Hilton Head Prep. See if they put any pressure on. Nope, they're gonna work on a return this time. The kick drives Sulek back to his 15. Got a little running room. 20, can't get away from the tackle. Nice defensive job by Jake Zarin to uh, haul him down. But Noah Sulek. That brings it just outside the 15. Tackle by number 55, Jake Zarin. Coming down, running it down, running, running the ball carrier down. Now, there are three guys with nothing better to do on a Friday <laughs> afternoon than come watch hey, a high school football game. Huh? I like that. Breast Cancer Awareness Breast Month. Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and then that's very good of you to be that way. I have a white shirt that I'm going to throw this red shirt in with, and it'll be pink by the end of the day. <laughs> Tyler Fox taking over in the shotgun. Empty backfield for Hilton Head Prep. As they start from the 15, throws it over the middle and almost caught by Cole Gardaki. 
But Gardaki looks to be about the tallest player out in the field. If anybody was going to get it, that throw was going to be him. But the six foot three inch senior couldn't pull it in. He has West Point looking at him. How about that? Well, he's multi-talented. Yeah. He plays a little wide receiver. He's a, he's a punter, and I hear he's a snapper too. A great long snapper, apparently. We are liable to see that before the day is over. Second and ten from the twenty. Fox again out of the empty backfield. One step drop, gets it out to Daly, and Daly picks up about eight. I'll make it seven yards, and it'll make it a third and three. Tyler Fox completing the first pass of the day. Nicely executed by the Dolphins. Little bubble screen to the outside, getting it to their speediest back, Tyron Daly. Nice, nicely executed. Third down and uh, just inside three yards for prep. Tyler Fox listed at 6'2", 185. He's going to get bigger than that. Now Daly gets it on the pitch. Between the tackles, spins once, gets the first down. The Walgreens first down yardage out to the 37-yard line. A gain of 10. Daly breaking loose for the first time. Uh, this, he gets a couple key blocks up front. And what he does really well is he runs up inside rather than trying to go to the outside. He goes inside, lowers his shoulder, and bowls over a couple tackles on his way to a Walgreens. First down. Kevin Wald told me before the game that last year, uh, Daly did a little more dancing, trying to break a home run every time. And this year he has learned, sometimes you just gotta duck the shoulders down and head forward. We've got a flag on the play. It'll be a procedure penalty against the Dolphins. Braden Mitchell, 5'10", 210 pound senior. That gives us a chance to set the offensive line for the Dolphins. Cole Frederick. Mitchell just helped you. He, he, he told you who 75 was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's only a freshman. 57, Logan Mallett is a left guard, left tackle, Sean Topper. Right guard is Brandon Mitchell, 75. And John Horner is the right tackle, number 50. Or left tackle, number 50. So on a first and 15, Fox airing it out. But overthrows his intended receiver, John Larson. Larson, a junior with over 20 Francis catches. Kelly, number 34 on the cover. We're down under the last uh, 20 seconds of the first Second quarter. This game has moved along quickly. Fox is over to talk to his head coach, Kevin Wald, to bring a play in on second and 15. Tyler Fox, one for three in the early going, threw for six touchdowns against Palmetto Christian and over 260 yards, rallied them with 27 points in the fourth quarter. They fell just short, a 56-50 shootout. On second and 15, Fox again going deep. He's got a man open. It's Noah Sulek, and Sulek catches it for a ball green first down, down around the 30-yard line of St. Andrews. A uh, great throw by the sophomore, Tyler Fox. As he sits back there, you'll see him. He sets his feet, and then he's able to throw the ball up high, get some air underneath it, so it's so like his least intended wide receiver can adjust his route, make the catch, and end up with a Walgreens first down in the Lions territory. A gain of 47 yards. Dolphins will tee it up when we begin the second quarter. We are scoreless. On WHHI Sports TV. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air, the Low Country's leader in HVAC service repair, replacement, and maintenance. Summertime tip for you with the heat on, when you're outside cutting the grass, don't forget your air conditioner when you're done. All those grass clippings can cause the air conditioner to clog up. Be good to your AC and take a water hose and spray off the fins. Your air conditioner will thank you. Thanks a lot. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota. From Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. 
Hilton had to prep at the opening of the second quarter. She ended up from the 29-yard line of St. Andrews. They give the ball to Daly. Daly around the left side. Gets down to near the 20. Gain of about seven for Teron Daly. That's just an impressive run, and, and it's executed almost to perfection by the offensive lineman. It's almost like the old stretch play. This time they rather hand it off to Daly to pitch it back to him. But it goes to the wide Second side of the floor. field. Everybody kind of does what's called a reach block by your offensive lineman and lets Daly find wherever the seam exists. This time the seam was about seven yards, were about 10 yards downfield on the outside. Tyler Fox takes the snap, gives it to Daly. Great move. Baked out one lion and then he cuts it back into across the 20 yard line. Close to first down yardage. But this looks like a Barry Sanders run right here, doesn't it? Bob, you, see, you saw Barry a few times. Yep, he uh, left Michael Hall down on the ground and then cuts it back. A little dip a to his hips. first down to the 19. Six carries for 36 yards for Teron Daly. Still waiting for him to really bust one. Heads into the line. Takes what he can get and then drags a couple of lines down across the 15. Well, you see, this is what uh, what I was talking about earlier, where it's really not a pro style offense. You'll see you have all four backs in the backfield in a blocking position. It's almost like a full T, but but you're taking it out of a, the shotgun, and that way you get some more blockers up front, work some ex, ex, some double teams, and able to allow Delhi to squirm and get. Get some extra yards. Pick up the two, second and eight. Second down and eight for the Dolphins. As Noah Sulik brings the play in to Tyler Fox. 16 yard line. Hilton Head Prep knocking on the door, trying to break this scoreless tie early in the second quarter. Yeah, there you see the almost full house backfield there. Fakes it to all the running backs and throws it into the corner to Sulek. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Well, that's another combination and hooked up here to get the ball down here, first of all, on a long throw. Now it ends up in a touchdown. Sulek with two catches for 53 yards and a touchdown. I'm sorry, that was number three, Noah Sulek. <laughs> Getting set to kick Still the extra point, Wadi Brooks. The freshman getting a chance to Wally kick the extra the points and field goals today. Up. This one is up and good. So with 10-17 left in the second quarter, the Hilton Head Prep Dolphins have broken the ice. They're on top, seven and under. HHI Sports TV. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. What we have here, a brand new 2013 Dodge Charger 25 miles MPG V8 with fuel saving technology, paddle shifters, best in class 8.4 touchscreen radio, including backup camera, navigation, and Bluetooth. Come ask for Charles Manigo, I'll save you $2,000 off this vehicle. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. I don't know how it happened, but it's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERV-PRO. Like it never even happened. We welcome you back to the home of the Dolphins. Bob Stevens along with Chuck Sapek. Early second quarter. Hilton Head Prep leading St. Andrews 7 to nothing. The kickoff brought back upfield by Bennett. Squirms, right Wallace rather, squirms, breaks loose. Gets by a couple of guys, but then has the ball stolen from him. They're going to rule him down by contact, I believe. Boy, what a great defensive play. Was that uh, Topper who made the steal? Church. Uh, Churchin, I think, made the, made the steal here. Great play by, first of all, great run by 22. Wallace does a little shifting here and is able to get into the open field, but you'll see at the end of the play here, the ball gets stolen by number 44. I'm sorry. Churchich, E.J. Churchich, yeah. 14, who made the play defensively. Really, just stole the ball right away from him. Good heads-up play by Churchin. 
First down for St. Andrews at their own 41. We don't have replay at the high school level <laughs> for the officials. Not at least yet. Not yet. Not yet. Reed Bennett still at quarterback. Got an extra back back in the backfield. Ball is on the ground, and it looks like it's been recovered by St. Andrews again. Malcolm Williams Green, the ball carrier. Malcolm Williams Green with the carry Lots and the fumble. The play recovered by the line. Well, it's going to be frustrating for Coach Doug Dixon from St. Andrews Lions to have these many, this many mistakes this early in the game. It's a little late in the season to be able, you know, to miss miss handoffs and some get some penalties like that. Tell you what, he's awfully lucky that his team has fallen on every one of their fumbles yeah. so far. Usually, that's a 50-50 ball when it goes on the ground like that. And we've got some movement on the. St. Andrews line. That'll drop them another five back. So second and 12 is going to become second and 17. They're putting a wrinkle in here, Bob. They bring in Caleb Timpson to take the direct snap under the center, number nine. And he runs, try to try to run with a hard count. Unfortunately, his left offensive tackle goes offside, number 76, J.D. Morgan. And the junior cost him five yards. As you see over the shoulder of Head coach Kevin Wald of the Dolphins of Hilton Head Prep. Boy, it was impressive when the seniors were being introduced and all the different colleges they're applying to and have been accepted by already. The give to Wright Wallace. Wallace gets out to near the 40 yard line. Be a gain of about six. Good job in the. Linebacker core for the Dolphins, number 10, James Leonard, 57, Here's Logan Mallett, 65, Reese Irwin, and number 8, Sean O'Connor, making it tough the for St. Andrews. Third down and 12 for St. Andrews. School from Savannah. Coming across the river to play the Dolphins of Hilton Head Prep. Reed Bennett. Has been 0 for 3 throwing the football. Obviously a passing down here, and now they've got Timpson up to take the snap from under center with Bennett behind him, and we've got a penalty. Again, another false start against the Lions. Interesting, Kevin Wald told us that was really one of his big goals today for Hilton Head Prep. Play a clean game. Don't get the silly procedure penalties, the things that you don't want to be happening in the ninth game of the season. He wanted to play clean. So far, the Dolphins have. Just one penalty for five yards. And now on a third and 17. Third down, 17 to go. St. Andrews needs to pull a little magic out of the hat. Right, Wallace with 33 yards on seven carries, but he splits out as a receiver. They're going trips to the left of the formation, the top of your screen. Empty backfield. Bennett over the middle. Oh, he had his receiver open. Michael Bennett. But it, he did not hang on to it, knocked away, and the Lions will have to punt. E.J. Church's number 14 makes a fast close and gets a hit on 24. He might have heard some footsteps coming up. Those footsteps are think he might coming from the indeed. sophomore. Andrew Adams now. Back to punt. High snap, but he's got plenty of time. Gets it up in the air, and he kind of hit it off the side of his foot, and it goes out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Good field position for Hilton Head Prep. The Dolphins on senior day, homecoming. There you see the Dolphin mascot. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in Beaufort by the Bay. One of our great sponsors this season. We also invite you to join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at the South Beach Marina. Get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory, or you can get it anytime online at saltydog.com. Tyler Fox and the Dolphins with the ball, just their own side of the 50. The break is to Bailey, and Daly is gone. They are not going to catch him. 58-yard touchdown. I had been waiting for Teron Daly to bust one. He had been held to 36 yards, but he gets loose here and rambles 59 yards for the touchdown. And he picks up a nice block by number 19. That springs him loose. That was Cole Gardnocki coming in from his wide receiver position. And once he got out of the middle, Teron Daly scooted to the outside, picked up the block by Gardnocki, and then he was on his way into the end zone. 
He now has 95 yards rushing as the kick by Waddy Brooks is good. And with 7.22 left in the second quarter, the Dolphins take advantage of good field position and get the home run play from Teron Daly and lead 14-0. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H Auto Service and H&H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. Definitely Duncan. It's always Duncan. Nothing but Duncan. It tastes awesome. It's my absolute favorite. I run on Duncan. America runs on Duncan Coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Andrew Spencer with the kickoff for the Dolphins, and it's Bennett bringing it back up the field for St. Andrews. Down now 14 to nothing in the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. Reach your peak at Lava 24 Fitness. Visit us on Hilton Head Island or at lava24.com. What a Bob, gorgeous Friday afternoon. It is a beautiful Friday afternoon, and this is a, a, a team that only lost once in the, the last three games to Thomas Hayward, who we had last week, and we saw how, how good they were. Um, but the uh, last second play of that game prevented them from being three three wins in a row coming into tonight, tonight's, this afternoon's game. Again, it's Timshin under center. He gives the ball to his running back, Wright Wallace. Wallace up between the tackles. Wright Wallace, the ball carrier. Yeah, Wright Wallace. Number 22 has made a number of nice runs. He gets some blocking up front by his six, and left tackle, number 55. Unofficially 39 yards on eight carries for Wallace. That was Zeke Zernan who made the, made the tackle for him, or made the block for him, number 55, Jake Zernan. So now on a second down and about four. Oh, great job by the interior defensive line of Hilton and Rep. They gave Wright Wallace no room at all. Topper. Topper was there. Hurlbut was there. At the bottom of that pile for the Dolphins. 63. Zane Brandon is the one that led the charge up front and was able to defeat his block and made the first contact. Zane Brandon stuffed him at the line of scrimmage. So now third and, and third. five, loss of about a yard. For Wallace. Very impressed so far by the prep defense. Early in the game, though. Just under six minutes to go in the first half. They fake the reverse. Bennett wheels it out to Wallace, and Wallace gets nothing. That's their first pass completion of the game, but they actually lose a yard there. Reed Bennett now just one for five. To White Wallace. Runs what's called the old waggle play, double fake, uh, and goes back the opposite way, hits the receiver, the first receiver, the, the, the first running back that he faked to, and the waggle play is not enough for a first down. Great defense by Noah Sulik, almost blocked that time by Prep, and it forces a short kick. Hilton Head Prep will again get very good field position at their own 43 yard line. James Leonard putting the pressure on putter Andrew Adams. James Leonard on the So Prep will get the football there. just about the same the spot where Teron Daly busted it loose for a 59-yard touchdown on their last offensive play. The Cheeseheads on hand today. <laughs> Senior day. Love it. Tyler Fox with Daly standing right next to him. Going to pitch it back to Daly. 
Daly actually in that stack formation. Now back Daly in the is behind, behind him. By a host of Lions. Now this, this doesn't look like much. He goes for no game. But watch Smith how he follows his field. blockers and then goes right upfield. Gets his shoulders square, takes on the tackler. I mean, that's that's going to pay off for you. Of You're not going to have three, three would-be tacklers in a hole next time. A gain or a loss of two, but a play that a year ago he might have danced and tried to make something extra out of it and ended up losing even more. This time he's dropped for just a couple of yard loss. Now, even though Second he, down. He, even though he got the contact, at least he's had his shoulders square and he was prepared for the hit rather than trying to go to the outside and, and not be protected. That's the power eye formation. Fox swings it out and is mishandled there by James Leonard, the 170 pound senior. Yeah, a little disappointed with himself for not hanging on to that one. Michael Hall and it'll be third and 13. On the coverage for the Lions. We have a timeout. Timeout has been called by St. Andrews, a serve pro timeout. Serve pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. On the third and 13 play, the pass over the middle to John Larson is just a little bit high, and it'll bring up a fourth down for Hilton Head Prep. Tyler Fox now three for seven on the game, but does have a touchdown toss to Noah Sulik for the first score of the game. We've got a procedure call against Hilton Head Prep. That'll be declined, and Cole Gardaki will drop back to punt for the Dolphins. Back Waits punt. to see if there's any rush. There is none. Punts it down. Inside the, the 25, inside the, the 20, line. finally and down by Teron Bailey at about the 19-yard line. Kick of about 40 yards that time for Cole Gardaki. In a lot of ways, St. Andrews is in the same position that Hilton Head Prep was two years ago. They got a two-year start here. You know, Walt, Kevin Walt had to come in, and there was some tough sledding there. Only 12 players coming out for the team initially, ending up with 18 last year. And then this year having 30 players out. Well, the like to thank now he dressed uh, tonight about 25 players. Yep, and, but, that's, and that's really, uh, that's what well, we Doug Dixon talked about at St. Andrews. We're, we're just a couple of years behind the curve and trying to catch up. The give to Wright Wallace. From Bennett, and he is snowed under. Leonard and Hurlbut doing a good job of standing him up as he tried to turn the corner. Uh, Leonard's made play after play here. You watch him, number 10, come in and make the hit. Square on. Number 10, James Leonard, 5'10", 170 pounds. He's a senior. Makes a great play. You know, they lost a couple of players last year that were stars for this Dolphin team. Charlie Wilmot, the quarterback. Logan Clark, Tyler Orford, Justin Kaser, and Austin Baker, just to name a few. And they were counting on some of these new, new younger players to come in and fill some of the holes. Hasn't paid off yet for Kevin Wall. Not a better record yet, but they certainly look stronger to oh, me, the, Bob. The program has come miles in just the last year and a half. The give to Wright Wallace. Ball is loose again. And again, St. Andrews comes up with their own fumble. Caused by number seven, Bernard Tucker. That's going to be close to first down yardage. It'll be enough for Lions first down at the 29 or 30 yard line. There's the ball stripped out. And again, that was the pesky James Leonard. Leonard making the play to peel the ball out. But a gain of 11 for Wallace and a first down 
Well, so far, I'm, I'm impressed with you know, some of the key players coming back, like Tyra Fox, the quarterback, Teron Daly, obviously, Noah Suk with the touchdown catch, Churchick, the linebacker, Logan Mallett. They're pulling the weight for this Dolphin team. First and 10. Oh, no room at all. No room at in the end for, at all for carrier. Bennett, the ball Check carrier there, Reed Bennett. Zane Brayton. Yeah, Zane Brayton, number 63, makes the stop once again. He's just a junior. No gain on the play. And there's a couple other underclassmen that have come on and, and added to the the, the uh, other returning starters, you have Mac Worley, Cole Frederick, Cole Horner, Waddy Brooks, three, and also Zane Braden. Second and ten. 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 and just a little more than ten. Two minutes left in the first half. Game moving along quickly. Now back to throw the ball. Nate Mayo at quarterback and he is sacked by Teron Daly. Number 10, Nate Mayo. So Nate Mayo's first snap the of the game is not a good one. Well, he comes in oh, the middle Oh, look at him, linebacker. right up the middle. Blitz there Missed a, he moved Drew in Daly. to a linebacker Dolphins position and came up from there. To go here. The deep offensive back missed him totally. And we have a timeout on the field. We'll take timeout. It's 14-0 Hilton Head Prep. On WHHI Sports TV. Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. Third down on the length of the island for the uh, St. Andrews Lions as Nate Mayo throws and completes the pass up across the 30 to the 35 yard line. That's their second completed pass of the game. But it'll be a fourth down. That's about Gained four about yards. 20. Yeah. yeah, about four yards short, Bob. The pickup of about. 17 on the play, but it's so on fourth down. down and about four. Why not? You're down two touchdowns, just a minute 25 to left. Try to do something five. after your biggest gain of the day. Mayo calling signals, trying to draw them off sides, and then if he decides to call a timeout, that's what he was trying right. to do. Get the Hilton Head Prep a little overly aggressive and maybe talk them into a penalty. Instead, we'll have a Serve Pro timeout. Serve Pro of Beaufort County, making fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision to mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team at 1-800-SERV-PRO. Like it never even happened. Fourth down and four for St. Andrews. Now they go back into punt formation. Andrew no, Adams course, number three, back, back for St. Andrews. Adams going to throw it out of punt formation. It's caught, and it's caught for first down yardage out across midfield by Michael Bennett. 
So they've completed two passes on this drive, neither one of them by their starting quarterback, and they've got a first down, and they are in prep territory for the first time in the game. A Walgreens first down. What a catch, what a throw, what a call from the sidelines. And the Dolphins were ready for it. They were in a prevent defense, and they still were able to pick up the first down. Under a minute left to go. Now they're racing the clock. Nate Mayo, again at quarterback, surveying the prep defense, rolls to his left, throws off his back foot, and it's just outside the reach of Caleb Tinchin. So it'll be second down and 10 with just under now 40 seconds left. Now in on the coverage for the Dolphins with 39 picks left here in the first half. Nate Mayo. Second and 10. We haven't seen him until this drive at quarterback. Yeah, not at all, yeah. We had number nine, Caleb Timpson in there. The starter. Reed Bennett, number Reed 31. Bennett. Yeah. Doug Dixon, trying to find out what he's got. That's what you got to do late in the season when you're one and seven. Start thinking about next year while you try to make something happen now positive. Rolls it out, does Mayo trying to get down to right Wallace on the left wing and Wallace couldn't hang on. It looked like he started upfield before he had the football. Yeah, he heard some footsteps too. <laughs> As number eight, Sean O'Connor was bearing down on him. So it'll be third and 10. Basically third and goal with 36 seconds left. Although as we saw from my cohort, Chuck Zapex, Nittany Lions last week. Give him some field in just a little bit of time, make a couple of first downs, and huge things can happen, huh? If the quarterback can throw the ball, you're right. Well, Nate Mayo can throw it. We have already seen him do that. Oh, he's in trouble this time, though. And he goes down. Defensive play made there by Sean Topper, the senior. Gets the sack. And the clock has stopped with just under 27 seconds left. A timeout has been called by Hilton Head Prep as they will try to turn things around maybe with a fourth down situation here. So there's been a timeout called. We'll take a Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro of Beaufort County, may, hoping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. 14 nothing. Hilton Head Prep leads. On WHHI Sports TV. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in. Cookies come out. One more time. Hand in. Cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. The Real Estate News airs daily with new editions premiering on Fridays at 4 p.m. Thank you for watching. I'm Jenny Lockhart for The Real Estate News, making a positive impact and leading the real estate market. Well done, Larry. Fourth down for St. Andrews. No fake this time. Adams just trying to kick it all the way down to the end of the island. He has it down at the 24-yard line, and that's where Hilton and Prep will take over with just under 18 seconds left in the half. Might see Tyler Fox try to air something out or get it to Daly in some space. Oh, that's what I would try to do. I, that's almost as, uh, as good as throwing the ball downfield. Get it in the hands of Tyron Daly. He'll tote it for you downfield. Tyron Daly, 93 yards on eight carries unofficially. His 20th rushing touchdown and 24th touchdown overall. On a 59-yard run early in this second quarter. Fox turns back to Daly, gets the ball, fakes it to Daly, now sends it out to the right side to Gardaki. Gardaki gets it out of bounds. Nope, he did not get out of bounds. They keep the clock running. Or at least we saw the uh, official wave to keep it moving. The first down will stop the clock. Dolphins had to use the turn timeout. To stop the clock. That's what they did, yep. 
Because the game was only five. We've got another timeout on the field, a Walgreens timeout. It's 14 0 Hilton Head Prep. We're going to keep it right here. We're going to keep it right here. All right. Gives us a chance to uh, talk for a moment about covert air. Breathe easier with an energy savings agr agreement with covert air heating and air conditioning. Mike must be out duck blind today. <laughs> you know, the duck dynasty. <laughs> New River Auto Mall, they have it all at New River Auto Mall, over a thousand vehicles at 12 dealerships in one location. Just under eight seconds left in the first half. It is 14-0, right. Hilton Head Prep, a great defensive show and enough time. offense to take a two touchdown lead. They scored late in the first quarter on a 16 yard touchdown pass from Fox to Sulik and then Teron Daly, 59 yards for a touchdown early in the second quarter. Fox back to throw, Lateral. and the old hook and ladder, and there goes Daly. Teron Daly is taking it to the house. Teron Daly takes it to the house. His second touchdown of the game, and, the hook and ladder. Uh, incredibly only four seconds come off the clock. Now he did that pretty quickly. <laughs> you know, Bob, I, first time I sold his play was executed by Syracuse. University of Syracuse, where they had the Elmira Express, and they ran the same play. Ernie well, Davis, and that's what Toronto Daly looks like. The Elmira Express, Ernie Davis running down the sidelines. What a great call by Kevin Wall. Waddy Brooks on for the extra point, and he has made another one. So Hilton Hep Prep has beaten the halftime gun to get a touchdown. Four seconds left in the half. We'll take a quick break on WHHI Sports TV. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air. You know, it's duct hunting season, and I don't mean the kind that flies. If you don't keep your filter clean every month and it ends up looking like this, you're definitely going to need to call Covert Air today at 706-5090 and have us come out for a free second opinion, an energy savings agreement, or maybe even clean your ductwork. That's Covert Air, 706-5090. Perfect execution there for the <laughs> 71 yard touchdown. And it is 21-0 Hilton Head Prep as we get toward halftime. We hope to hear from Coach Kevin Wald as the Dolphins head off the field at the half. One last play. Great execution by that time by the quarterback Tyler Fox and number three Noah Sulik, who made the catch and made the, then lateral the ball to Carondale. They'll kick off, the Lions fall on it, and with 1.3 seconds, they're going to give them a chance to run one play. 21-0, Prep leads it, headed toward the half, and all the momentum belongs to the Dolphins. Well, St. Andrews was in the game, two touchdown game, now you get up by three going into halftime, that's really got to hurt. Indeed, you have been giving up a couple of big home run plays. The 59-yarder by Daly, that last one 71 yards on the old hook and ladder. Noah Sulik with the great pitch after making the pass reception from Tyler Fox. And now, Nate Mayo, there's a fumble on the final play. Again, St. Andrews, I, I lost track of how many fumbles. They covered all of them, but they are down by a 21-0 count. At halftime, Hilton Head Prep leading St. Andrews here at the home of the Dolphins. Let's go down on the field and uh, Kayla Lowe with Coach Wald. I'm here with Coach Wald. Now tell me, we're up 21 to none to nothing here in the first half. And um, what are you expecting out of your team in the second half? Well, just to continue to play clean. Uh, you know, we, I thought we started blocking a little bit better in the second quarter and started settling into a nice rhythm. Just want to build off that. I think the score right there before half was very big as we get the ball first and second half. Maybe we can put the nail in the coffin here. All right, thank you, Coach Fogg. Good luck. We'll be right back with the halftime report.
duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in. Cookies come out. One more time. Hand in. Cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies. It's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. Have you been in the zone? Sport Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sport Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more. Sport Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sport Zone. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. I'm just in love with the flavor. I get mine black. I don't want to take away from that pure taste. So smooth. No bitterness. It's awesome. There's no other taste like it. America runs on Duncan Coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Dunkin' Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Welcome back to halftime of the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. Hilton Head Prep leading St. Andrews 21 to nothing. Bob Stevens alongside Chuck Zapek. Chuck, uh, St. Andrews held in for a while and then uh, uh, grooved a couple of fastballs and the Prep hit a couple of big home runs. Well, we knew that Prep could score a lot of points. They showed it all season long. What we did know is that they could shut out St. Andrews and they have in the first half leading 21 nothing. You're really more impressed by the defensive job that uh, Hilton Head Prep's done rather yeah. more than the offense. And, you know, the star of the first half, Teron Daly, has played defense and uh, he, mm -hmm. he's a great defensive player. In fact, he may be a better defensive player in, at the college level. It'll be interesting to watch in the second half, to watch him play both sides of the ball and see which one. Well, at the end of the game, decide which way uh, he is better at it. Uh, Hilton Head Prep, really starting to turn the corner now. This is a chance for a second consecutive win. They haven't done that all year. A chance to get it to five and four with, of course, the big rivalry game next week with Christian Academy. Uh, you sense some momentum on this campus now. Well, you can see some stability offered to their offense, too. The offensive line is coming along and playing really well. They've, they're, they're starting to gel a little bit. And, you know, when you got a back like Teron Daly, uh, you, you're never quite sure what's going to happen. You know, you, so you might as well go out and play as hard as you can with your assignment. 
and get the block because Teron Daly can take it to the house at any time. Well, he, and he has 59 yards uh, right up the middle on one play, and then he danced down the sidelines on the hook and ladder play yeah. for 71. A great job also uh, done by Tyler Fox, the quarterback. Yeah, the sophomore quarterback has really grown up this year and coming in and uh, playing a full year. I'm really impressed with him. He's got good size, six feet two. He's got a nice range, and he's thrown some 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 good deep balls, one for a touchdown to Solik and another one for a big game, which set up the first touchdown. Say that again. Sophomore quarterback. Sophomore, yeah. How about that? That's great stuff. So Hilton Head Prep leads it by a 21-0 count at halftime. We've got lots of great halftime homecoming activities coming up. We're going to talk about those in just a moment. But first, let's go to the New River Auto Mall Drive of the Week. We're here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram to take a look at the new 2013 Dodge Charger. Great car for people of all ages. This has the new 3.6 liter Pentastar engine in it. it. Gets 293 horsepower. And with the new eight speed transmission, we're still able to achieve 31 miles to the gallon. It is a government five star crash rating. So it's a very, very safe vehicle. This one has the 20 inch chrome wheels. If you look closely, you'll see a little button right here. That is to lock the car. Start is all push button activated and the car actually knows when the key is within 24 inches of the car to unlock the doors for you. The trunk space in this vehicle is, is monstrous. It also has cruise control and the new uh, five inch touchscreen radio. This car is a base price of, of $25,995. Thanks for spending some time with us on the 2013 Charger here at Hilton Head Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram at the New River Auto Mall. Yeah, it's a big mess, but don't worry, cleanup's already underway. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The disaster recovery team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. I'm here with Rich Basirico, the athletic director here at Hilton Head Prep. Now I understand that there was not even enough players to actually fill a football roster previously, right? Well, last year in our, our first meeting, we had 13 players who came out the first day of you know, practice. Coach Walt did a great job of recruiting other kids from our student body to come out and play. So the second year of his tenure here, we have now 30 players. So we're very excited about that. Right, okay. And so can you tell us maybe a little bit about the other sports here at Hilton Head Prep? Sure, well in the fall, our girls tennis team just won the state championship, uh, undefeated 14 and 0. They've won 28 matches in a row. So we're very uh, happy about that and proud of our girls tennis team, their second consecutive state championship. Uh, we have volleyball team. We run cross country. They're actually competing today, uh, tomorrow, in Columbia for the state championship. Um, we have, uh, let's see, we have a sailing team, which is part of our club program here at school. In the winter time, we play uh, basketball. Um, that's the only sport that we have during the winter time. And then in the spring, we have girls and boys soccer, golf, tennis, and baseball. Okay. So. Thank you so much for all your help here. All right, now we're here with Eric, the Booster Club president here at Hill and Hand Prep. Now, I understand you all did a huge project for the baseball scoreboard last year. Can you tell us a little bit about that project you all did? Well, we did actually. Uh, we spent some time, raised some money uh, through our normal activities, and we were able to purchase a new scoreboard for the baseball team, which is something that we had been working on for quite some time. Okay. And um, what else have you actually provided for the athletes here at Hilton Head Prep? Well, we're very proud that we support all of our sports teams here at Prep. And one of the bigger things that we do is we actually have a uh, trainer that all of the athletes uh, have the opportunity to work with, even during the uh, summertime. 
uh, several days a week they can come in and work out with the trainer. Okay, and then um, maybe are there any future projects that you want to talk about that are here for Hilton Head? Uh, well, we're always working on lots of different things. I mean, uh, we're actually in pretty good shape right now. Um, I'm not aware of any big things that are on the horizon, but there's many things that we do all the time for the athletes. All right, thank you. Thank you. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends cold tablets <coughs> and hot soup. My Walgreens pharmacist recommends bubblegum flavor and patience. Mine recommends antacid tablets and uh, only one taco. Walgreens pharmacists also recommend you try Walgreens brand health and wellness products. They have the same active ingredients as other brands and cost less. Our pharmacist recommended Walgreens brand health and wellness products. There's an everyday way to well. Our goal at 123 Drive Driving Academy is to help students become confident, cautious, and safe drivers. We offer high quality classroom and behind the wheel training, and we are the only driving school in the Hilton Head Bluffton area that is certified to administer the road test for students. Visit our website at 123drivedrivingacademy.com or call us at 263-5023 and mention WHHI TV to receive $10 off your training sessions. When you're ready to get in the driver's seat, please call 123 Drive Driving Academy. I'm here with Ron Simmons, the principal at Hilton Head Prep. Could you tell me a little bit about the academic opportunities here at Hilton Head? Oh, absolutely. Um, gosh, uh, we offer a college prep curriculum, um, plenty of AP opportunities across uh, all departments. Um, probably the most um, exciting new development is um, the addition this year of our Digital Learning Academy, which um, has been an exciting thing. We've also um, Brought many international students to our program this year. Um, really, we're we're looking at, um, at at how to best blend uh, the new students into our community and still keep the feel of, of a community school. And so that's a challenge. Um, a couple of years ago, we began bringing sports academy kids to to our program, and um, it's it's always a challenge to make sure we meet both of their needs, both their academic needs, while they're making their uh, athletic needs, having, having them be met as well. Okay, so what are the actual academic guidelines that these athletes have to follow in order to be eligible to play out here? Well, we, we go beyond the actual schemes or guidelines, and um, at this point we're reviewing our policies, and, and what we'd like to do at this point is make sure that our students don't have any Ds to play. And in a college prep school, uh, we feel like that's a, a standard we should be able to maintain. All right, thank you, Ron. I'm here with cheer coaches Leslie, Leslie Richardson and Missy Santori. Okay, how many girls do you have on your squad this year? We have 10 amazing cheerleaders on our squad, a varsity team. Okay, and I know tonight is actually senior night, so how many girls are you losing this year? We're going to lose two girls, but did you happen to see the mini fins earlier today? That's why whenever you asked how many girls we had on the squad, we have another 15 to 20 mini fins. Okay. So we start really young at prep. It's a big part of the prep family that we start with our J, K, J kindergartners as mini fins, and they have a really good time. And we have a fabulous middle school squad of 10 girls. These are these okay, that's looking, awesome. Uh, and then maybe tell me a little bit about your right cheer routine that Something you do in order to prep for the games like tonight? Like to um, well, of course, tonight with homecoming, we didn't have a halftime. But as you know, in cheerleading, the halftime is our big sport. And so we do a lot of practice safety and stunting, and we have an amazing group of talented girls who dance, and we even have somebody that's great with acrobats. And so we do a lot of hard work. We have practice every week for a lot of hours. Okay, All right, thank you. And we re we'll be right back with the second half. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with another tip for fall from Covert Air. Do you smell that? That's right, no smell. Could have been carbon monoxide poisoning. Here at Covert Air, all new maintenance agreement customers receive a free carbon monoxide detector. 
$75 value, yours free with a new energy savings agreement. So this fall, get your air conditioning and heating tuned up and a $75 value carbon monoxide detector free from Covert Air. Welcome back to the home of the Dolphins. Hilton had prep leading 21 to nothing, scoring just before halftime to make it a three touchdown lead. And as fate would have it, they get the ball to begin the second half. As the kick is high and deep and over to the corner, Noah Sulik grabs the ball at about the 25 and gets out to nearly the 30 yard line. And that's where the Dolphins will take over. First and 10, a very clean first half. That's exactly what Coach Kevin Wald told us before the game he wanted from his team. They had just one uh, a little uh, offside penalty in the first half and really played cleanly. Didn't recover any fumbles, but they did put some pressure on the quarterback and offensively, well, they scored on three of their last four possessions. Well, Bob, last week was more or less the same story when they beat Kings Academy. The give is up Teron the middle Daly, of the daily. Teron Daly looked like he was about to lose the ball. He was carrying it pretty high there. Well, picks Daly, up a couple. Yeah, picks up a couple. Daly scored two touchdowns in last week's game. Tyler Fox threw for two scores. And uh, Nick Sulik had a touchdown catch along with a, a, a blocked field goal attempt to return for a touchdown by Shane Topper. Those four players have returned this week and played quite a first half. And there's the reason why the Dolphins are up 21 to nothing. Out of the power eye. The give again is to Daly. And boy, St. Andrew's really keying on him. And they get him at about the line of scrimmage. Ron Daly, 10 carries for 95 yards conventionally. But he also has that 70 yard scamper on the hook and ladder play. Yeah. Third and eight now for the Dolphins. The junior J.D. Morgan steps up. He's a two-way player for the Lions from St. Andrews and makes a nice tackle on Teron Daly. One more time out of the power eye on third and eight. Fox fakes it this time to Daly. Going to go up top. Sulik has got it. Sulik down to near the 40-yard line. So for the third time in this game, the combination of Tyler Fox to Noah Sulik has worked for a big game. Look at the accuracy of the quarterback, Tyler Fox. That's three times that he's had to throw the ball right on the money and he's delivered. Gain of 30 and a first down at the 42 of St. Andrews. Noah Sulik has three catches for 83 yards and a touchdown in this game. Fox gives it to Daly, trying to pick his hole off tackle. Good burst after that first contact. Boy, really kept his balance. And it looks like he is going to pick up another first down. We might have a measurement here. And we've got a timeout called by St. Andrews. We will take a timeout, a Surf Pro timeout. Surf Pro Beaufort County helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. Hilton Ed Prep on top, 21-0. On WHHI Sports TV. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Hey, I'm Alexis James. I'm here with the 2013 Jeep Wrangler Sahara Unlimited. That means there's absolutely no limits. The greatest off-road vehicle on the market. Holds its value the best of any other vehicle in America. Come see me, Alexis James. Right price, right here, right now. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. The Real Estate News airs daily with new editions premiering on Fridays at 4 p.m. Thank you for watching. I'm Jenny Lockhart for The Real Estate News, making a positive impact and leading the real estate market.
We are back at the home of the Dolphins. They lead 21-0 over St. Andrews. On second down and about two, a little swing pass out to Cole Gardaki. Juggles it, but he'll have first down yardage. Reach your peak at Lava 24 Fitness. Visit us on Hilton Head Island or at Lava24.com. We'll be giving away the Lava 24 Fitness Player of the Game award at the end of the game. Dolphins with a first down at the 30 after the completion from Tyler Fox. More conventional offense run by the Dolphins. You can see they huddle after every play and then they come up over the ball. And that allows the quarterback to view the, uh, the defense and see whether or not he wants to call an audible. Well, when you've got a guy to hand off to like Daly, you don't have to be in any big hurry. They give it to Daly. He gets down to near the 20. Well, That's very ball, close to first down yardage again. Passes made by number 22, White Wallace. And number nine, Caleb Contention. Well, one of the most amazing things yeah, about Tron Daly is that he plays both ways. And he may actually be a better defensive player than an <laughs> offensive player, Bob. Right now he's playing just fine on offense. We've got a flag down on the field. He had 100 tackles last year. Conferring. He's had two fumble return touchdowns this year. Unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. And that wipes that slate clean that uh, Coach Wald had talked about playing a clean game. He, he wanted no penalties, none of the silly stuff like that, particularly. It'll drop him back and make it second and long. The scoreboard looking awfully good to Dolphin fans right now. Second down at the 35-yard line. Second at about 15. As Tyler Fox, again, just a sophomore. What a bright future he has here at Hilton Head Prep. Already making that future. Fakes it to Daly. Now he's going to go down deep into the corner. Gardaki juggles it, can't hang on. Looking for a little help on the interference. Doesn't get the call. And it'll be third and 15. Boy, Fox let it fly. That might be interference. Might have been a little contact there. Possible face guarding on Gardaki. Let's see what the official. Yep, they are now calling pass interference against pass St. Interference. Andrews. That's Ed Barfield, the referee in the white cap. Also joining him for in, in the officials tonight are Ron Link is the umpire from Charleston, South Carolina. Rick Stork is the back judge from Alurzi, South Carolina. Line judge Ernie Williams doing this for 25 years from Fairfax. And the linesman is Bobby Caldwell out of Charleston, South Carolina. Now coach Doug Dixon asking for an explanation from the officials about what went on down in the corner. The flag coming out late. <laughs> he is a little animated. Coach Dixon trying to turn things around at St. Anthony's. Spent a couple of minutes with him before the game and talking about what he's trying to do and uh, how impressed he is with the effort of the kids he has. He says, we just got to get bigger kids and better kids, and they're coming. <laughs> now trying to explain what pass interference is and isn't. Now where I come from, they don't call it like that. <laughs> I think that's what I can hear <laughs> show it. <laughs> It'll be first and 10 for Hilton Head Prep. Uh, Coach he may get himself a penalty pretty soon if yeah. he keeps this up. And we're going to be doing the 50 I'll tell you a quick story. Like a warning. I'll tell you a quick story. My father was a high school well, official, minutes. and he was the referee. And coach was doing this to him once. Threw the flag, marched off the 15, looked over and said, had enough. And the guy gave him a little bit more, and he walked 15 more. And then he had to yell at him, have you had enough? <laughs> Finally, the coach had had enough, and they set up about uh, third and 40. And <laughs> he had, had to listen to it the whole game. That's really the first time we've seen Coach Dixon have any issue with things. Um, First down. Set up at just inside the 20. The give is to Daly. Trying to break it around the corner on the left-hand side. Boy, that great acceleration once he turns the corner. Ball is loose. St. Andrews thinks they have come up with it. Officials are down 
trying to pull everybody off the pile. And they're not signaling. Now they are recovered by St. Andrews. So they dodge a bullet as Teron Daly puts it on the ground down near the goal line. St. Andrews will have the football deep in their own end. You see Daly, the quick burst of speed. But then the second helmet that hit the ball knocked it loose. Number nine, Caleb Timpson, came up with the recovery, Bob. Well, let's see if St. Andrews can do something with the football and try to get back into this game, down three scores. I believe they would be under the shadow of their own goalpost. <laughs> Just outside the 10-yard line. First down for the Lions. Oh, now the ball is down again. St. Andrews falls on it. Recovered by the quarterback. They have put the ball on the ground a lot in this game. I lost count of the number of fumbles, but they have not lost one yet. So it'll be second and long. Quarterback Nate Mayo. Lost control of the ball there. So on second and long. Looking to his right, then to his left. Trying to see which way he wants to go. Decides that goes right up the middle. And a good run right straight up the middle by Wright Wallace. Wright Wallace he brings it out there. past the original line of scrimmage. Nice job that time by his guard blocking for him. That was number Jake, number 55, Jake Zernan. Also 75, Jacob Dixon. So that'll bring up a third down. And about six. Now yeah, less than that. Closer to three yards now on third down. Quarterback keeper brings it across the 20. Will it be Nate enough Mayo for a first down? Keeper. Nate Mayo, who has played about half the second quarter and has played so far the entire second half at quarterback for St. Andrews. He does get a first down out to the 23. And we have a timeout called by the officials. Eh, Going to fix some equipment here. The lineman's going to have to come out yes, for I'd repairs. Like to my friend, Mr. Fred Wynn, who's been my spotter all season. Nate year. Mayo at quarterback. Reed Bennett. Is you saw him in the huddle. 31. He was the starting quarterback. Just a sophomore. Mayo, young player as well. Now, St. Andrews has it back together. There's Andrew Adams, who had the uh, chin strap issue. He's their punter well as an offensive lineman. So first and 10. Just over six and a half left in the third quarter. Prep up 21-0. Touchdown in the first quarter, Reed two Bennett more in the Parker. second. Reed Bennett Tackle gets the ball and moves it James up across Leonard. the 25. Well, they're getting the ball out of the shadow of their goalpost, Bob. <laughs> Running Broken the football down. out of there, following in their offensive Pick line. Got to give some credit in there to the, the blockers. That's Andrew Adams, 79, and 76, J.D. Morgan. That's who he's following. So a second down and seven. Mayo trying to get it loose. Uh, Malcolm Williams-Green gets it, picks up just a couple. If that. And Zane Braden lead the charge. Well, it's deceptive where Tron Daly's lining up. Sometimes he's playing a defensive back. Other times he moves up as, as an inside linebacker. This time, number five comes up the middle as a linebacker and makes a hit behind the line of scrimmage. Remember that old monster position that uh, first guy I remember playing at, Brad Van Pelt at Michigan State, where he yeah. kind of lined up in wherever he wanted to. Played some free <laughs> safety, but then would come up and play linebacker. and. Kind of let him freelance a little bit, and that's a little bit of what they're letting Teron Daly do on defense, is pick his spots. 
whistle blows. We've got a timeout call by St. Andrews as they want to get something going here in the second half. A serve throw timeout with 5.23 left in the third. Dolphins lead it 21-0. On WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota from Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. Definitely Duncan. It's always Duncan. Nothing but Duncan. It tastes awesome. It's my absolute favorite. I run on Duncan. America runs on Duncan coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Third down and seven for St. Andrews. Back in their own end, the snap goes over the head of the quarterback and it's not jumped on by Cole Gardaki of Hilton Head Prep. And now the Dolphins are set up in terrific position with their first fumble recovery of the game. You think he's not a little bit pumped? <laughs> How about that? But they're fortunate that it hadn't happened sooner. But this time, after the last stop they had at 20, when the score was 21 0, St. Andrews looked like they were able to get the ball out on their own goal line. And this is a bad break for them because yeah. now it puts them right back where they were just a few minutes ago. Down three scores. From the 13 yard line, Fox gives it to Daly. Daly right up the middle, breaks a couple well, of tackles and gets it down to about the seven yard line. Uh, what's so impressive about Daly is how quick he gets into the line. He's able to square his shoulders, and then he's able to make a little move, move from one side to the other with his hips and make some tacklers miss inside. You see that little move right there? That's a strong move. Nice running, Teron. Second down and four for the Dolphins. Now Fox finds his key linebacker. Takes the snap, gives it to Daly. Daly picks his hole and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Teron Daly, his third touchdown of the game, a 12 yard run. And Hilton Head Prep has jumped out to a 27 to nothing lead. Nice block up there by number 75. Teron Daly is everything what they said he was. He gets some good blocks up there by Leonard, number 10. Watch him how he keeps his shoulders square. You know, for a running back, as long as you're keeping those square, their sh shoulders squared running up the field, that's how you avoid injuries. It's when you turn to the side and allow your body to get exposed, whereas you get the tackles and you're able, you get the high ankle sprains and the injured knees. Had that one uh, Marcus Allen moment there where he was still going forward and yet was kind of gliding and he hit the hole and got it home. Waddy Brooks tacks on the extra point with 4.35 left in the third quarter. Hilton Head Prep now leads 28 to nothing. On WHHI Sports TV. H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Everything is ruined. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERVE-PRO. Like it never even happened. Shop Stokes Brown of Toyota of Bluffton. Shop Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head in Bluffton where you'll have a truly exceptional experience. It's time to drive a Toyota. 
Bob Stevens along with Chuck Zapek, 28-0. Hilton Head Prep leading St. Andrews. Here on a gorgeous sunny afternoon on the south end of Hilton Head Island. Homecoming day. Homecoming day, senior day. The seniors all being honored as their final home game as members of this Dolphin program. And they kick it short and onside allow St. Andrews to recover. You gotta work on that onside kick play just a little bit more. Allen, I'm not sure they were trying to actually recover it and get something started. They just wanted to not allow the big long return. So first down, just on their own side of the 50 for St. Andrews. Well, we wanna thank the athletic director, Rich Basirico, uh, yes. Basirico. Rich has been here forever, and boy, what a help he has been in our preparation for this game. And Peter Cooper, the, the headmaster here, yeah. First and 10 for St. Andrews. Mayo at quarterback. He's got an arm, but it's intercepted. Threw that one over his intended receiver, and it is picked off by Xenon Parker, the junior who's playing with a separated shoulder, but stepped in the front Eight of that one. Pass was intercepted by number seven, Janon Parker. Parker picks it off. He goes down at the 32-yard line, and Prep is going to have the football again with just under four and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Uh, pressure put applied that time by Trey Me Colquitt. He's got three into the quarterback, and that's the reason why he forced the high throw. Fox comes back out in the power eye. Fakes it to Daly. He's going to try to air it out. Gardaki is open and tight ropes down the sidelines for a couple of more yards. Gain of 22. Driven out of bounds by number eight. Oh, when the corner went down, Gardaki was wide open. Did a good job of looking the ball in. Just trying to stay inside the white stripe a couple of extra steps a walgreens first down for hilton head prep at the 45. fox gives it to daly daly gliding through the hole inside the 40 to the 38. he's brought to the ground by michael bennett number 24 and wayne wright Wallace, Robert number 22. Wallace. Bob, aren't there any two running backs on offense, too? Yes, they are. Playing both ways for St. Andrews. It'll be a second down and four after the gain of six. And again in the power eye. Daly almost 10 yards behind center. That means he's got some momentum when he hits the line. Cuts it back inside the 35, down to about the 33. That'll be very close to first down yardage. Just under three and a half left Tackles in the third quarter. 79, Andrew Adams. Yeah, Andrew Adams, 79, and comes up. He's a two-way performer. First down. The senior makes a good hit. He's able to take that, bring Daly down. Another first down for prep. Covert Air, breathe easier with an energy savings agreement from Covert Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Today, the Covert Air Bowl Series on the south end of Hilton Head Island, where Hilton Head Prep leads St. Andrews 28 to nothing. Next week, we'll have the Holy War. Hilton Head Prep against Hilton Head Christian Academy. Daily dances his way through the line and picks up another five or so. 34, Francis, Francis Kelly Francis comes up, Kelly makes a nice team. tackle on Daly. The limit is gained to only four yards. Eating up big chunks of yardage. Good blocking there by Logan Mallett and from Sean Topper. So now on second and five, you see three wide receivers to the left side of the formation. Cooper in the slot. They go the other way to the wide open Noah Sulik, and Sulik breaks back and gets it down inside Noah the 20. What an effort by Sulik after that catch. Well, reverses his direction twice. Not only did he confuse us, he confused the would-be tackle. Watch him as he makes a throw, makes a catch out here. It's just a quick out, it's not even a screen. He's out there by himself, and he's able to reverse his field twice. 
and almost slips out of it. Put your hands together. Another for Walgreens first down. Dolphin cheerleaders. Running down Thank toward you. two minutes left in the third quarter. Fox with an almost empty backfield. Pitches it to Daly. Daly trying to turn the corner and is brought down inside the 15. He's asking for a horse well, collar, but here. he was in midair and spinning when Back he was really hit. spun around by the defense of St. Saint, Saint, uh, Andrews. Yeah, so right Wallace play. comes through and makes a nice tackle here. He grabbed them by the shoulder pads, yep. not by the horse collar. Yep. So Hilton Head Prep has called a timeout. We've also got a flag on the play. We'll take a quick break, a Serve Pro timeout. Serve Pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. 28 nothing. Hilton Head Prep in the third. On, by, on WHHI Sports TV. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Ram 1500, Motor Trend Truck of the Year, VA Hemi, 22 miles per gallon. We're American-made products here. Bad credit, no credit, everybody drives. Come see me, Alexis James, because I'll get you a great deal. $10,000 off, right deal, right here, right now. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. That's it. Have you been in the zone? Sports Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sports Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more. Sports Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sports Zone. As we come back, the pass from Adam Fox to Noah Sulik is just overthrown. It'll make it a second down. Long after the holding penalty was called on Hilton Head Prep just before the timeout. Oh, Sulik was open. He'll remember that one. Yeah, so would a quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Fox has proven to be extremely accurate this afternoon. He really has been. Completing better than 50% of his passes. Now the give is to Daly, right up the middle and right into the end zone. That's the fourth touchdown of the game for Teron Daly. And with a minute 48 left of the third, Prep goes up 34 to nothing. Wow, Bob, this is what you call downhill reading, running. I mean, this is like a piano sending down, descending down your driveway and the moving, moving guys lose control of it. He's hard to stop and look at him roll into the end zone. Now on for the extra point, Wadi Brooks. Now we've got a player down, Logan Mallett. Oh boy, he is one of the stalwarts of this offensive line, the senior. This is a team that has suffered through a whole handful of injuries and we only start the season with 30 players. You can't afford too much. They're gonna untie his shoe, take a look at his ankle. We'll take a quick time out here as uh, Mallet is attended to on the Covert Air Bowl series with Hilton Head Prep leading 34 to nothing. On WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota from Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. Logan Mallett did come off the field under his own power, so he is as okay as he could hope to be. Wadi Brooks on to try to kick it fifth straight, but he has missed this one wide to the left. So four out of five for the freshman. It is 34 to nothing in favor of Hilton Head Prep late in the third here on Hilton Head Island. On WHHI Sports TV. Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. 
Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team at 1-800-SERP-PRO. Like it never even happened. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in. Cookies come out. One more time. Hand in. Cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial's not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. Thirty-four nothing. Hilton Head Prep leading on the Cobra Air High School Football Bowl Series on WHHI Sports. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at South Beach Marina. Get your Salty Dog T-shirt at the Salty Dog T-shirt Factory or anytime at SaltyDog.com. Waddy Brooks with the kickoff, picked up down around the ten-yard line by the Lions, by their starting quarterback, Reed Bennett, who is now playing running back for the Lions. You know, Bob, there's a, a lot going on here this afternoon. I think you know, Hilton Head Prep really has to be proud of their reputation of their players and their students and their teachers taking great pride in what they do. And one of the important things I think we see down here around the field are the parents support and the active booster clubs that they have and they're selling uh, all sorts of things along the sidelines to support the, uh, the athletic program here at Hilton Head Prep. It's well, really good to see. They've made the football game an event and that is uh, really good to see. Thought uh, he was going to hear a whistle did Nate Mayo and kind of slowed up when he got the football. Everything kind of went in slow motion in that play. Michael Bennett picked up about four to the 30. Tackle was made by Galvin Hoblock. You know, as they were introducing the seniors before the game, and then again at halftime, and you know, just telling everybody where to, the kids are planning to go to school next year, and uh, you can just see that this athletic program is really an integral part of a well-rounded curriculum here at, at Hilton Head Prep. Certainly is. Nate Mayo under center now, second and eight for the Lions, who have not shown a whole lot of offense in this game, and dumped in the backfield. Great play there by Irwin as he the line dumps the running line. back, Wright Wallace. Reese Irwin, no gain on the play. Reese yes. Irwin, and third down. Watch him shoot the gap, the linebacker. And put the running back down in a hurry. Third down now and nine as we count down into the final minute of this third quarter. Shadows lengthening, his final home game, final afternoon game of the year for Hilton Head Prep. They try to go to five and four on the season. And the flags fly, it might, might have taken too much time. Boy, they called a long snap count. The officials are conferring. And it's actually gonna be called against Hilton Head Prep. <coughs> Wind the clock. Offsides against the Calling offsides against the Dolphins. Looks like somebody lined up yep. offsides. It must have been lined up offsides, yep. So it is now third down and about three as the clock quarter. winds down to the end of the third and quarter. Hilton Head Prep, a touchdown in the first quarter, two more in the second, two more in the third. They lead 34 to nothing, headed to the fourth quarter. On WHHI. Sports TV. 
H&H &H Auto Service and H&H &H Auto Body are deeply rooted in our community. Our friends became our customers and our customers become our friends. H&H &H has earned a reputation for dedication to their customers. All collision from mechanical repairs to servicing your tires. H&H &H will take care of you. We are completely committed to every client, sales and service. And communication is key. I invite you to see why so many people trust H&H. &H. After all, you are driving our reputation. Hey, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. Definitely Duncan. It's always Duncan. Nothing but Duncan. It tastes awesome. It's my absolute favorite. I run on Duncan. America runs on Duncan coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with Covert Air, the Low Country's leader in HVAC service repair, replacement, and maintenance. Summertime tip for you with the heat on, when you're outside cutting the grass, don't forget your air conditioner when you're done. All those grass clippings can cause the air conditioner to clog up. Be good to your AC and take a water hose and spray off the fins. Your air conditioner will thank you. Thanks a lot. We welcome you back to the home of the Dolphins, Bob Stevens and Chuck Zapek. Joined on the sidelines by Kayla Logue. Here in the fourth quarter now as St. Andrews tries to make something happen late in this game. Caleb Tension catching the pass. He's thrown a couple in this game, now catching the one from Nate Mayo. Pulled out of bounds at about the 40-yard line. That would have counted to the NFL level, too. He got both feet in, in bounds. Good job. First, first down, a Walgreens first down for St. Andrews. And now the officials are conferring quickly before they wind the clock again. The final 12 minutes at home for the seniors at Hilton Head Prep. The handoff goes to Malcolm Williams Green, and he's got some running room up across the 45 to nearly the 50 yard line. Let's go down on the field where Kayla Logue has an injury update. I'm here with Chris Patain, the, uh, the trainer here at Hilton Head Prep. Can you give me a quick um, injury re report on Logan Mallett that just got hurt on the field? Yeah, Logan just re-injured his, uh, his ankle. It's a chronic thing that he's had all year. Just threw some ice on him. Just took him out for the big game next week. Okay, so he is going to be able to play next week. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Chris. All right. Back to you guys. So much, Kayla. I think it would take uh, a tow truck and then some to keep Logan Mallet from playing in the, against Christian Academy next week. A chronic ankle issue as the give is to Reed Bennett. And Bennett gets up across the 50 into Hilton Head Prep territory. It's only the second time in the game they have passed the 50-yard line as Prep has really put out a standout performance on defense, Chuck. Well, Reed Bennett started the game as a sophomore starting quarterback, he's finished the game as a sophomore starting running back. Well, and they threw a pass to him a little bit ago as well. Yay! Trying to find out what they've got and where they've got Thank him you, for ladies. the rest of this season and coming seasons. The give there to Wright Wallace. And he pounds down inside the 45. And rounds the ball carrier, tackles made by Zane Yeah, Brady. this is a growth and opportunity Brady. now particularly for your younger players at St. Andrews. I mean, the game's out of reach. They're not gonna, they're not gonna win it this afternoon. But you'd like to be able to develop a little bit of cohesion and some confidence and give your offensive line a chance to come off the ball here. I think it's a smart idea to kind of run the ball rather than trying to throw it and play catch up where you can never catch up. Second down and six after the gain of four. To give again to Wright Wallace. Wallace with a stiff arm, then gets into the secondary before he's finally Wallace, knocked down inside the 30-yard line. A Walgreens first down for St. Andrews. Hey, he gets a nice block by the coach's son, Jacob Dixon, number 75. <laughs> you watch him here. He's just a freshman, and he's also the biggest guy on the team. H&H Auto, for seven years, H&H Auto has been voted number one for service, collision repair, and sales by the Island Packet and Hilton Head Monthly. 
They have it all at the New River Auto Mall, more than a thousand vehicles at 12 dealerships in one location. The Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series, working into the fourth quarter. Here in week nine, up the Ray middle Wallace, the go the Lions. They are met by a whole host of Dolphins. Conference. Well, you can see the blue and white and from Brady. Georgia, St. Andrews High School, Pick battling here late in the eight. fourth quarter. But it's really a rebuilding project that they have on their hands, and I think you just have to be patient. I think they do indeed. Breathe easier with an energy savings ag agreement from Covert Air, heating and air conditioning. Lions coming up to the ball on second down and a long seven just inside the 30 yard line. Bit of a high snap to give to Wright Wallace and Wallace. Wright Wallace, the ball carrier. Trying to get it down inside the 20. Once again, this is definitely Zane their Brayden. deepest penetration of the game. And Zane Brayden. You saw number 79, Andrew Adams, come from his right offensive guard position, throw, throw the block on the trap the play. And down. that's the reason that's why the they have a Walgreens first down. Well, I'm sorry, it was only three yards. Second down. Second down. The Hilton Head Prep students and cheerleaders have a little fun sporting the pink of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Now Mayo hands it to Reed Bennett. Reed Bennett, the ball carrier. Bennett, close to first Reed down yardage. You didn't say anything about my pink shirt. We did earlier. All right. Showed your pink shirt a little earlier. We'll show it in the post game as well, all right? All right. Don't change shirts between now and the end of the game when we hand out our Lava 24 Fitness Most Valuable Player of the Game. We've got a timeout call by Hilton Head Prep on the field. 7.38 left of the fourth quarter, a Serve Pro timeout. Serve Pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. What we have here is Chrysler 300, brand new, 3.6 Pentastar, made in the U.S. of A. Eight-speed transmission, give you 31 miles to the gallon. Best in class, 8.4 touchscreen radio, backup camera, navigation, including Beats by Dre. Come take a test drive, I'll save you $2,000. Ask for Charles Manigo. The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. St. Andrews with a second and four at the Hilton Head Prep 15 yard line. You see things from the ground level. Wright Wallace trying to cut back against the grain and get that four and keep this drive alive for the Lions. They would love to get That's something on the board before this is over. They are closer than they have been this entire game to making something happen and offensively. First and goal at the 10 yard First line. And goal for the Lions. As the Hilton Head Prep defense would love to stiffen and pitch the shutout here. As we count down towards seven minutes left in the game. Nate Mayo under center, split backs, gives it to Bennett, and Bennett is stuffed. I mean, just plain stuffed. Reed Mitchell Bennett, and Braden the making the play the defensively. Uh, Braden makes a nice stop here. Watch yeah. number 63 Reed as he charge. comes up field, fights off the, the trap block. He's able to get underneath it, make the tackle on the, run, on the ball carrier. Nice job. Zane Braden and Braden Mitchell. Lots Making the stop, the 75 and 63. And 14 from the 14. So now second down and goal. Just inside the prep eight or 10 yard line. Rolling to his right, throwing over the middle. It's caught at the five. But that'll bring Great up a pass. third and, and goal. The catch by Michael Bennett. At the 11 yard line. It's third down and goal to goal from the 11. Third and goal at the 11. I said five. I, there was one more stripe there. <laughs> they had to get across. That only went for like four yards, but that was a tough completion. Yeah, they worked, worked hard for it, that's for sure. Just over five and a half left in the game. 
Mayo, this time rolling to his left, pursued by three Dolphins, and one of them got him. Zane Braden, the junior, he'll be coming back and next year. And that'll make head coach Kevin Wald pretty happy. Just good pursuit here. Good angle he took toward the quarterback. And Mayo had nowhere to go. And now it is fourth and goal at the 20. Fourth and goal from the 20. Down 34 to nothing. They brought out the kicking tee. Daniel Chisner on to try it out of the hold of Andrew Adams. Very rarely do you see a player with a lineman's number kicking. Even more rare do you see a guy with a lineman's number holding. The kick is up and it is good. St. Andrews has put three on the board with just under five minutes left in the game. It's Hilton at prep 34 and St. Andrews three. On WHHI Sports TV. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, now's the time to drive a Toyota. Now's the time for you to save thousands on a new Toyota car or truck. There's a huge selection to choose from, and every vehicle is clearly marked. At Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, we've got just what you need and know just what you want. Low competitive prices on our most popular models and a level of customer service that's just out of this world. Now's the time to drive a Toyota from Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head, Highway 278 in Bluffton. We welcome you back to Hilton Head Prep, where the Dolphins are happy on homecoming and senior day. We invite you to shop Stokes Brown Toyota of Hilton Head in Bluffton, where you'll have a truly exceptional experience. It's time to drive a Toyota. Will they onside kick? No, they will kick it short into the right-hand side, taken at the 25-yard line by Sulik. Sulik. Up to the 35, to the 40, up near midfield before he's finally wrestled down. We've got a flag at the end of the play as well. Noah Sulik, good kickoff return, putting Hilton Head Prep in great field position. Tackle was made by number 31, Reed Bennett. The three wise men watching this game. Noah Sulik is pretty versatile step. player. Yeah. The six foot, 170 pound junior plays, not only does he return kicks and punts, but he's also a wide receiver and D-back, and he can be a running back, too. Caught a touchdown pass, had a sack in this game. Played very well on all three sides of the ball. Penalty is against St. Andrews. steps off to the 39. 15-yard penalty. You know, two players not mentioned today. They were injured, 55, with Robert Clark. He'll be back next week, supposedly, and also Kaelin Hanna is injured tonight. The junior is not had not suited up. Fox still at quarterback. Daly still at running back. And that's bad news for St. Andrews. Teron Daly down near the goal line. Did he get it in? He did. 39-yard touchdown run for Teron Daly. That is his fifth touchdown of the game. This is his third five-touchdown game of the season. Just great speed to the outside, just outruns everybody. Friends, that is the third. Great job by Ron Daly. Three touchdown games for Ron So on for the extra point, Waddy Brooks. Low snap, but put well on the tee by Gardaki, and the kick is good. So the 41 to three, the score with 419 left. All smiles on the Hilton Head prep side of the field today. We'll take a break right here. 419 left, 41 to 3 in favor of prep. On WHHI Sports TV. Hey folks, Mike Covert here with another tip for fall from Covert Air. Do you smell that? That's right, no smell. Could have been carbon monoxide poisoning. Here at Covert Air, all new maintenance agreement customers receive a free carbon monoxide detector. $75 value, yours free with a new energy savings agreement. So this fall, get your air conditioning and heating tuned up and a $75 value carbon monoxide detector free from Covert Air.
Why Thursday? Flu shots are now available at every Walgreens store. Every day at Walgreens, there's a way to stay well. Hilton Head Prep on top 41 to 3 as the sun begins to set in the southwestern sky. Hilton Head Prep trying to finish off their fifth win of the season. Bringing it back up on up the field for St. Andrews is Wright Wallace. Finally brought down by Leonard. E.J. Churchich. This is a good confidence builder for Prep. They're four and four coming into tonight's game. However, they're 0 and three in the region. So they, they need a victory in the region to. Yeah. Uh, Probably no playoff run coming up for Hilton Head Prep. But I love the way that Coach Wald put it earlier in the week where he said, we're just gonna keep playing. If they call us to play in the playoffs, we'll show up. If they don't, we'll know the season's over. Mayo at quarterback, he has gone the entire second half. Throws it over the middle, but not able to be hung on to by Wright Wallace. I'd like to thank our friends from Lava 24 Fitness. Yeah, I see Steve Wilmot up in the left corner. Of the bleachers, his son Charlie was the quarterback here a year ago. Has matriculated, as they say, to Auburn University. Second down and 10 for the Lions of St. Andrews, who will fall to one and eight. Chuck mentioned a moment ago, Hilton Head Prep will go to five and four on the season with the finale next Thursday night against Hilton Head Christian Academy, a game we'll have for you on WHHI. Cole Gardaki gets credit for the sack after the fumble in the backfield. Really not a very good center snap, but Gardaki gets the sack. He's played well on both sides of the ball today. Uh, he has too, Bob. Well, we started off the day, we had John Burns here, our, our president of WHHI TV and Burn Enterprises. I, I, I know we started off with the interview yeah. before the game. It was good to see John. It was good to see him. He had to catch the uh, late flight to corporate headquarters. We've got a timeout called by St. Andrews. Just under three minutes left to go. A Serve Pro timeout. Serve Pro of Beaufort County, helping make fire and water damage like it never even happened. On WHHI Sports TV. St. Andrews with the ball, third and long. Under three minutes left to go. Mayo throws it, nice catch. Nice pitch and catch. That one caught by Wright Wallace. And a first down for the Lions of St. Andrews. A Walgreens first down with 2.48 to go. They're on the Hilton Head Prep 40. Trailing 41 to three. Like Good team effort by the Hilton Head Prep defense as the seniors start coming off thank the field one by one. Mayo with an empty backfield. Barking the signals. Rolling to his right. And he completes it. Churchich with good coverage on the wide receiver, Hunter Yeomans. E.J. Churchich is on the stop for the Dolphins. But a good gain again for St. Andrews. Pass is complete to Hunter Yeoman. Gain of about five. Second and five. A long four. Come join us at the Salty Dog Cafe at the South Beach Marina. Get your Salty Dog t-shirt at the Salty Dog t-shirt factory or anytime at saltydog.com. St. Andrews. Shuffling the formation on second down and five. Rolling left. Got a man open and caught. Michael Bennett gets down Nick inside the 15 pass. yard line of Hilton Head Prep. Another good pitch Christian. and catch for the St. Andrews Lions. Exactly as their coach Doug Dixon told us before the game. Talent wise, they're not quite there yet. 
but effort-wise, they play. very certainly are. His team has not given up. Hey, there's our producer, Tony Verga. Looking busy, but not very. <laughs> it's first and ten. Tony and Kayla Loeb trying to brighten the day of all of us here. The roll to the right, the throw to the end zone, touchdown! For a touchdown! Wright Wallace on the receiving Wallace. end of the touchdown pass touchdown. from Nate Mayo. 15 yards. With under a minute to play. With just a minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Well, that's a good confidence builder for St. Andrews. Going to next week's last game of the year. Get a touchdown, give him a good chance to get a good week of practice in and Maybe it'll come out with a second victory. In the well, season. and if you get two in a row going into the off-season, then the off-season program uh, takes a step Andrews. forward. Adam, the kick Adam, is up and Adam, pulled wide Adam, to the left Adam, by Adam. Daniel Chisner, who made the field goal just a Daniel few moments Chisner, ago. 41 to 9 with under a minute to go. Let's take another break. On Hilton w Ed Prep leading by a bunch. On WHHI Sports TV. I bought this. I saw it. I wanted it. So I got it. I put my hand in, cookies come out. One more time, hand in, cookie out. Shouldn't your life be that way? When you put something into your life, you should get something more incredible back out, right? How much do you make right now? If you're whispering, not a good sign. Start a TCL and get a job right now to get cookies raining down on you. Or in other words, employment, advancement, vacation, a career. Yeah, this commercial is not about cookies, it's about you. Make it happen this fall at tcl.edu slash now. It's working. State officials urge complete evacuation. Severe flooding is expected. It's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The storm response team at 1-800-SURF-PRO. Like it never even happened. HHI, your hometown TV station. We'd like to thank them. We are back at the home of the Dolphins. Senior day, homecoming, and a very nice 41 to 9 victory over the St. Andrews Lions that will send Hilton Head Prep into the season finale against Hilton Head Christian on a two game winning streak. A high short kick taken by Noah Sulik. And Sulik. Gets himself out to nearly the 30-yard line. Well, Bob, we certainly haven't seen a ball control ground and pound offense tonight today, that's for sure. Hilton Head Prep led by Tyler Cox throwing the Tyler Fox throwing the football. The six foot, two hundred and eighty-five pound sophomore had a great day. He did indeed. Teron Daly had a Teron Daly day. Over a hundred yards on the ground, about a hundred yards in receiving, scored on a hook and lateral. Scored on four other touchdown runs, a couple of them long. And now they're going to take a knee and finish things off. That is Churchich, the backup quarterback the the in the game. We have a flag down. As the clock winds down. I think there's a flag down, but everyone is going to choose to ignore it. The seniors are going over and shaking hands with the officials. They're going to get the clock run down. Huge win for Hilton Head Prep. Final score, That's Hilton Head Prep beats St. Andrews by a count of 41-9. to nine. We will talk with Coach Kevin Wald and our Lava 24 Fitness MVP in just a moment. Prep wins it 41-9 to nine to go to 5-4. and four. On WHHI Sports TV. Duck hunting season is in full swing. Now is the time for a covert air maintenance and tune-up safety inspection. We cover all types of heating and air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration repair. Bagged one. And duck cleaning. We're out hunting duck everywhere from Kiowa to Hilton Head to right here in Bluffton. So if there's a problem in your neck of the woods, give us a call 24-7. Complete customer satisfaction is not only our goal, it's our business. Butler Chrysler Dodge Jeep, your all-American auto dealer in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Ram 1500, Motor Trend Truck of the Year, VA Hemi, 22 miles per gallon. We're American-made products here. Bad credit, no credit, everybody drives. Come see me, Alexis James. I'll get you a great deal, $10,000 off, right deal, right here, right now. 
The dealer you choose is the difference to you. Butler, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep. 1555 Salem Road in beautiful Beaufort by the Bay. Shop local, buy American. That's it. Have you been in the zone? Sports Zone is the area's complete source for sporting goods and apparel. Their selection of sports equipment covers everything you need for football, baseball, basketball, and so much more. Plus the latest in apparel to make you look your best. Sports Zone is also the place for teams. From uniforms to trophies, embroidered items, banners, and more, Sports Zone has it all at competitive prices. Stop by 12 Johnson Way off Route 46 near the post office in Bluffton or call 837 Zone. Get it in the zone. Sports Zone. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Duncan. I'm drinking Duncan. Definitely Duncan. It's always Duncan. Nothing but Duncan. It tastes awesome. It's my absolute favorite. I run on Duncan. America runs on Duncan Coffee. Visit your locally owned and operated Duncan Donuts on Hilton Head in Beaufort and off of I-95 at exit 8. Bob Stevens along with Chuck Zapek, Coach Kevin Wald, and our Lava 24 Fitness Player of the Game, Teron Daly. 41-9, to Hilton Head Prep wins it. First of all, Coach, congratulations on a win. It gets you guys uh, to 5-4 and four on the season. Yes, sir. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Really proud of our players and our coaches. We worked really hard this week, and homecoming's, you know, a special time at any school. So really proud for our school and just happy for everybody. You didn't have the completely clean game you were hoping for beforehand, but uh, your, your guys played with a lot of intensity, particularly on defense today. I thought we played pretty well defensively. Uh, offensively, I thought we got a little better in the second and third quarter there. Um, we had a turnover or two that hurt us, but um, uh, you know, always it, it doesn't matter how well you play. There's always things to work on, and this game's no different. And you know, we'll look at the film and get it corrected for next week. Coach, it looked like in the first half you opened up a little bit. You didn't ground and pound it, and you had your quarterback throwing some deep balls. Was that your strategy? Well, not not exactly. You know, they were playing this man to man, and. Uh, you know, they didn't have a safety in the middle of the field, and they uh, put a couple extra guys in the box. So, it, you know, you got seven, five guys trying to block seven, and that's, you know, the odds aren't in your favor. So we went to our heavy set to even the numbers up a little bit, and then you see we were able to move the ball. Absolutely. Nate Dixon, step on in here, our uh, Lava 24 fitness player of the game, Teron Daly. We lost track of the numbers. You had over 100 yards rushing. I don't know if those are rushing or receiving yards on the hook and lateral, but, hey, five touchdowns. Congratulations. Great job. Um, thank you. I really appreciate it. I want to thank my offensive line, know the receivers for blocking. Just a whole team effort. Charlton Carter did a great job. <laughs> so thank you. I thank them. I thank my teammates. Nate, great. you want to hand it off? Yes. Congratulations, Tron. On behalf of everyone. Yeah. Great game. Great game. Terrific effort by everybody. You guys, a little now you can get a little excited for next week. I'm sorry. A little we'll excited for next week now. You can begin to get Oh, there. yeah. Now we can really focus on Hilton Head Christian. And, you know, we'll give it our best shot. We're fairly healthy, and uh, we'll see what we can do. How big would it be for a senior to go out with a, with a three-game winning streak and a big win over Christian Academy? Huh? I'm hoping to do that. That's our goal. That's right. our goal as a team, sir. Teron, again, congratulations. Coach, congratulations. 41-9. to nine. The Thanks. Dolphins are winners here in the Covert Air High School Football Bowl Series. For Chuck Zapek and for Kira Logue, I'm Bob Stevens. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you when Christian Academy plays Hilton Head Prep next week.